Hey Cleveland.com meteorologist Kelly Reardon here. On the radar this week we're looking at honeybees. Weather does play a big factor, okay? Um, when it's rainy and thundery and stuff like that, the bees don't leave the hive. Um, you know, when they get wet, they can't fly. You know, the heat and the cold, you know, the bees can manage and stuff. The only thing a bee does not like is moisture. A wet bee will kill, you know, a wet bee, it's much like me and you. You know, we can be cold in the winter time and we'll survive. But if we're wet and cold, we won't survive. You know, when we have really good weather and stuff, like this past winter, we have people, you know, bees that were overwintered are just exploding out of the hives, as we call it. Uh, they're swarming. We're getting a lot of swarm calls every day. And we're only guessing on this, you know, we're not scientists or that, but we've seen it. It seems to be some of the crazier weather we're having now is almost confusing them a little bit. Uh, with that warm February we had here in Ohio, the bees were out flying. You know, mine were because it's we don't have a spring, summer, fall anymore. You know, or we go well. Look at what was it? Fifty last weekend. It's ninety this week. So it's it's confusing people, let alone the girls. All of the bees, honeybees, natural enemies are dark raccoons, bears, skunks. Uh, those are their mortal enemies. Uh, they, the bears and the raccoons eat the honey, but the skunk feasts on the honey bee itself. It eats the bee for protein. Might be a good time to mention that I'm A, terrified of bees, <laughs> B wearing perfume and C wearing sunscreen. So this will be fine. Oh, you should be fine. This will be fine. You should be fine. We'll see how they act. So close to my just face. Just hold it there. Ah. Okay, and there. Okay, there you go. I'm holding all the bees. This is, I'm definitely conquering my fear right now. For more on the radar with Kelly Reardon, for daily weather updates, head to